Good morning. Yes, Lord. We bless his name. Hallelujah. Yes, Lord. God is good. He's wonderful. <clears throat> Listen, get you get you your timer, okay? We're gonna pray for the brothers, the men. Okay, we're going to pray for the brothers. You know, most of the time, the attack on the man or the male seed, it starts, you know, in the womb or before, you know, uh, uh, the seed gets in the womb. Does it make sense what I'm saying? You know, and so the enemy attacks, okay, even in the infancy, when 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 the child or the baby boy is defenseless okay you look you look in the bible that's where these attacks that's where it comes from okay and uh you know right through to adulthood okay the enemy just keeps attacking the enemy just keeps attacking and so oftentimes what happens is that's why most of the time in the church if you look around the ratio men to women, you know, there's such a huge discrepancy because the enemy understands that if I allow the men to get into position, everything will come into order. That's what I'm saying. If the men understand who they are, everything falls in place. When a man is in position and takes control of the house, you know, because listen to me, as the man is in relationship with God, God will tell the man how to behave. You, you know, you wouldn't need to do anything. God will talk to the man and say, hey, get yourself in order. You were entreating now. I didn't give you that woman for you to beat her down. I didn't give you that sister for you to disrespect her. You see what I'm saying? When, when men are in position, that's what happens. When men are in position, that's what happens. You know, God has a way of con you know, con convicting you. Okay, no man of God will be down on a woman. No man of God will cheat on a woman. No man of God will walk away. You see what I'm saying? You will understand because you are in the image. See, Jesus was being spat at by the very people that he was going to stand on the cross, Dr. Nikisha, and, and cover and, and, and shed blood for. You see what I'm saying? Jesus was going to hang on the cross for the same people, the same Roman soldiers who were beating him. He was going to, he was going to hang on the cross for them. Okay, so you know, part and parcel of being a man is, you know, is, is, you know, it's, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's about, it's, it's a sacrifice. You see what I'm saying? You, you, you know, you know, not everybody will like you. You know what I'm saying? Talking about men in general. Not everybody will like you. You know what I'm saying? You go through persecution because Jesus went through it. You know, you go through the prison season because Jesus went through it. You go through the pit season because Jesus went through it. You know, whatever it is that you're going to deal with, Jesus has given us an example. From the Genesis to the Revelation, he's given us an example. So I want you to, you know, be very, very, uh, you know, uh, attentive, okay? On Tuesdays when we pray for the men, you know, you know what happened on that airline yesterday. I think it was yesterday. You know, that man who was dragged off the airline and he was bleeding. Listen, see, it is all part of you know, it, you know, you know, it's a humiliation. You know, dragging off somebody you know who has paid for their ticket. You know, and he's all he's all bleeding and everything. You know, all these things, all these things. You know, it is part and parcel of the plan of the wicked one to humiliate men. You know, you know, you have to look at what the enemy is doing. It's all part and parcel. To, it's humiliation. It's humiliation. Okay? So when it comes to men, when it comes to the brothers, we've got to be very sensitive. And we've got to pray for them. You know, all men, all men, all men, all men, if the men can get in their rightful positions, things will shift. Things will fall in line. What is not supposed to be there will not stand. 
Okay, that's what the Bible says. Before I formed you in the womb, God was talking to Jeremiah. I knew you. You were with me. You were made in my image. When I looked at you, I saw me. When you looked at me, you saw you know you saw you you know you know like you know you're the mirror image of me, and I'm the mirror image of you. You see what I'm saying? So I need you to understand what it is that we've been called to. I keep saying to you, listen to me. It is really a time and a season for praying. You know, you got you. You know, I was telling you now that you got you know you got Russia, you got the U.S., you got North Korea. You know, you've got uh, Syria, you've got Iran. You have leaders in probably about five or these six nations who don't know how to stand down. You see what I'm saying? They don't know how to stand down. They, they have to be right. And it's a very dangerous mix. It's a very dangerous mix when you have leaders who don't, because, because if I stand down, I'll be seen as the weak one. In my country so I need to stand up so whatever it takes okay so that's why there is this there is this agenda there's this spirit of of war which has been openly declared by them and because of that look at go back to you know some things were happening already but look, go back the last couple of days when it was made you know when it was breaking news that you know Putin declared war Look at the things which have been happening. Spiritually, all that the demons wanted was for a leader to declare war because it opened up the doors for them to leave the realms of the spirit and manifest in flesh. So now these demons are able to jump into flesh. Whoever is willing, they will jump into that vessel, use that vessel, and then jump back right out of that vessel. So somebody, you know, say, you know, murder, suicide. They, you know, in the spirit of it don't work like that. You know, it's like murder, suicide. Listen to me. It was a spirit. It was a spirit. It jumped into that person, caused them to wreak havoc, has now jumped out of them, waiting for the next vessel to make themselves available. That's why, do you remember, yet, do, do, do you remember yesterday when we were praying? We had that distraction. Do you remember? Yesterday when we were praying, when the women were praying, we had that demonic interference and had to call it out. Because it was a trick of the enemy to cause us to divert, to deviate from what it is that we were, you know, from what God had told us to do. You saw that. Because the enemy knew, listen, something was cooking in the pot of the demonic. Something was cooking and we were disrupting. Listen to me. Listen, even though I think there was two or three people who perished, listen to me, it would have been more. It would have been more. But prayers prayers because prayers was going up it prevented calamity what happened in sweden listen to me it would have been more but because there are people who are praying imagine if all the church folk will come on and you know will come together and pray we will, we will listen to me they will get in those buses they will get in those trucks but listen to me they will not have any victims prayer man we can only do so much i'm telling you Imagine if the churches and the preachers will put together their alligator shoes and, you know, their three-piece suits and, and just get down on their knees and pray. Imagine what we will accomplish. Imagine if the bishop will put down his title, when the archbishop will put down their title and they will park their car somewhere else and they will get down on their knees and call upon Jehovah. Imagine we will, we will destroy we would destroy. You see what we're doing on prayer mantle? And I'm not just saying, oh, there are people who are praying too. That's why most of this stuff, it is not having the desired effect. You see what I'm saying? It is not having the desired effect. They're looking to maim and to kill thousands. They're looking to kill two, three people. They're looking to maim thousands and thousands of people. But listen to me, their plans are being frustrated. So listen to me. It doesn't stay on the news long enough. They want to blow things up. They want to blow people up. But they are being caught or, or, you know, the trigger at the last minute is not working. You know why? Because you and I wake up every morning and we come to a place of prayer. Listen to me. You know how we do things. I want you to get you a timer, okay? I want you to get you a timer. We're going to pray for seven minutes.
So we're going to need from the Lord. I'm going to pray for seven minutes. I'm going to pray for the brothers. Yesterday it was the women. It was the sisters. To this morning we're praying for the brothers. If you have any cousins, any nephews, any godsons, uh, any male seed, leaders in your community. Pray that, listen to me, pray that the leaders in your community are not bought with money. They're not bribed. You hear me? They're, they're, they're not forced to turn a blind eye. I want us to pray for them. Uh, I feel that this morning, let's pray for the leaders that they're not bought with money. In the name of Jesus, businessmen and businesswomen, don't come and buy them so that they can give contracts. In the mighty name of Jesus. Let's start. Start your timer. We're going to pray for seven minutes. Let's go. Father, the Bible says, clap your hands and stamp your feet and declare. In the mighty name of Jesus. Father, this morning, God, we pray for the brothers, God. We ask your spirit. We ask for your protection. Father, God, for the brothers, for the men this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, God, the brothers need you. We need you. We need you. We need you. Father, we offer ourselves, Father God, ah, for the purpose of the kingdom. We offer ourselves for the purpose of the kingdom in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, whatever you want to establish, whatever you want to do in the name of Jesus, Father, we make ourselves readily available. We ask of you in Jesus' name that, Lord, you will remember us, Father God. You will bring us through in the mighty name of Jesus. That God, whatever has been said concerning the lives of the men in this season, that Father God, it shall come to pass. That the brothers will be protected. That the brothers will receive, Father God, in the mighty name of Jesus, their portions in Christ. The brothers will stand and, Father God, we shall be victorious in Jesus' name. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for the brothers. We thank you for the brothers. Father, we thank you for the brothers in the name of Jesus. Let prayers, Father God, transpire this morning. Let prayers transpire this morning. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, the brothers will not fail. Father, the brothers will not fall apart. Father, the brothers will not die. In the mighty name of Jesus, any brother who has a death assignment hanging over their lives. In the name of Jesus, we pray that this death assignment will not work. This death assignment will not work. This death assignment will not work. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, whoever wants to destroy, whoever wants to break, whoever wants to annihilate any brother in the season, Father, we ask for the blood of Jesus, Father, to cover that brother in the mighty name of Jesus, the Father. The men will rise up in Jesus' mighty name. The men will rise up in Jesus' mighty name. The men will rise up in Jesus' mighty name. Every corner will be filled with men, men of God, in the name of Jesus. We call them out from the prisons. We call them out from bondages. We call them out from chains in the mighty name of Jesus, Father God. We call out the brothers who are addicted. We call out the brothers who are addicted in the mighty name of Jesus, Father. Addiction will not be their portion. Addiction will not be their portion. Addiction will not be their portion in the mighty name of Jesus. This hour we come against addiction. This hour we come against addiction. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, whatever wants to destroy the man, Father, whatever assignment has been unleashed, Father, against the man this season, Father, we decree and declare that it will not work. In the mighty name of Jesus, back off, devil, take your hands off the men. Take your hands of the young men in the mighty name of Jesus. The young boys, ah, the baby boys in the mighty name of Jesus. Every Herodian spirit, every Nebuchadnezzar spirit, every assignment of wickedness called Pharaoh, which wants to come against the brothers in the name of Jesus, to consume us, to destroy us in the name of Jesus. We stand in prayer. We stand in unison. We come against it in the mighty name of Jesus. We come against it right now. We destroy it in the name of Jesus. We terminate it in the name of Jesus. Let the men rise up. 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 Let 
the men rise up. Let the men rise up. Let the men rise up. Let the men rise up in the name of Jesus. Let the men be fruitful. Let the men multiply in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the men be successful in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the men be victorious in the mighty name of Jesus. Let the men prosper. Let the brothers prosper. Come on, Zion. In the name of Jesus, Father. Let the blood of Jesus spread over the men. Let the blood cover the men. Let the blood cover the brothers. Let the blood cover, let the blood cover, let the blood cover, let the blood cover, let the blood cover in the name of Jesus, let the blood cover in the name of Jesus, let the blood cover in the name of Jesus, let the blood cover in the name of Jesus, let the blood cover in the name of Jesus, let the blood cover in the mighty name of Jesus. Father, we bless your name. Father, we magnify your name. We lift up your name. We command the angels of the Lord to fight for the men in Jesus' mighty name. Let the Lord of hosts rise up and cover the men in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray for husbands. Father God, we pray for godly men. We pray for godly men. We pray for godly men. We pray for godly men in the name of Jesus. We ask for godly men this hour. We ask for godly men in the name of Jesus. Come on, Zion. You can do better than this, Father. We thank you this hour. We bless your name. We lift you up. We lift you up. We thank you in the name of Jesus, Father. Let every man rise up and take their rightful position. Let every man rise up and take their rightful position. Let every man rise up and take their rightful position. In the name of Jesus, the men will rise. The men will arise. The brothers will arise. The brothers will arise. The brothers will arise. We will arise in Jesus' name. Nothing will destroy us. Nothing will damage us. Nothing in the name of Jesus. Nothing. Nothing in the name of Jesus. Nothing. Nothing will destroy the men. Nothing will destroy the brothers. Nothing will intimidate the brothers. In the mighty name of Jesus, the brothers will not be intimidated. The brothers will not be destroyed. The brothers will not fail in the name of Jesus. We thank you, Holy Ghost. We thank you, Holy Spirit. We thank you, Omnipotent One. We thank you, Lion of the tribe of Judah. We thank you for blessing us. We thank you for favoring us. We thank you for keeping us. We thank you for strengthening us. In the mighty name of Jesus, we pray the blood of Jesus over the brothers. We pray the blood of Jesus over the men. In the mighty name of Jesus, the men will prosper. The men will prosper. The men will prosper. The men will prosper in health. The men will not be sick. The men will not fail. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father, we thank you for covering the men. We thank you for blessing in the men. We thank you for making the men responsible. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we thank you for letting their businesses prosper. We thank you for letting their homes prosper. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, let the brothers, Father God, prosper. Let the brothers not fail. In the name of Jesus, we cancel failure. We cancel failure. We cancel failure. We cancel failure. In the mighty name of Jesus, Father God, we make these declarations. Father, we make these proclamations. And Father, we advance the kingdom of God because the men have come into position. Because the men have come into alignment. Father, we advance the kingdom this morning because the men and the brothers have taken their rightful position. In Jesus' mighty name. Yes, Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Balalabasia. Balalabasuto lobosha. Yes, Lord. Ha! Bele leba. Sito lobosia. Vase vodiva. Presika lalaba. Hey! My God, He's good. He's wonderful. He's awesome. In the name of Jesus, Father God. Everybody, listen to me. Lift your hands wherever you are. Ha! In the name of Jesus. Father! I stand in the gap with every brother who is online this morning. And Father God, as the women back us up in prayer, we submit our will to you. Holy Ghost, clean us out. Father, as brothers, we're vulnerable. 
And Father, sometimes we don't want to show our weaknesses. But Father, to you, God, we can be open and transparent. And I ask of you in the name of Jesus, God, touch the men this morning. Father, every husband, every man who is looking after children, Father, yes, Lord, Give us wisdom to bring them up in the right way. Billy B, Billy B, Sapa, Lipa, Zipodipa, Zibrindi, Cabria, Citeri, Leba, Sata, Vezo, Vodiva, Dibria. Let us be examples, my God. Let us be examples because we are looking at the ultimate example, which is you, Christ Jesus. Teach us the way to be husbands. Father, those who are single, those who are in relationships, those who are in the schooling system, Father, those who have businesses, those, Father God, who are, ah, Father God, looking after other siblings. We present them to you, God. Father, into your hands, we as men, we commit our lives. We bless your name. We love you because you first loved us. In Jesus' mighty name, hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Isn't God wonderful? Some of you have never prayed for seven minutes, but you see, see how easy it was to pray for seven minutes? Do you see it? All you got to do is just stay on, you know, stay focused. Okay, stay focused. And listen to me, uh, women. Please, sometimes it's very easy to see only the negative in a brother. Okay, stop pulling out the negatives and start speaking life into the brothers. You hear me? Stop, stop reducing us to rubble. You know, stop pulling us down. You hear me? It's very easy to pull us down. You know, stop going on social media and blasting us. Stop sharing information about men. You know, uh, you know, you know how you know they're deadbeat and all that kind of stuff. Stop using those words, okay? Stop, stop describing men. Do you see what I'm saying? As deadbeat, you know, up to no good. Do you see what I'm saying? Death and life is in the power of the tongue. And that's why sometimes you end up in relationships and everything that you prophesied, you received it. See, you, you, you think that prophecy is only when a, a prophet prophesies to you. But you know, you've been speaking like, you know, you've been speaking death so much. Every man that you see, you know, you just, you just refer to every man as a deadbeat. You know, so if you're not careful, when you end up in a relationship, that's exactly because you spoke it. The Bible says death and life is in the power of the tongue. Those who love it will eat of his fruit. So if you, if you speak life, you receive fruits of life. If you speak death, you know, if you, if you keep referring to men as deadbeat, guess what? That's, that's the man that you have created for yourself. You see what I'm saying? That's the man that you have created for yourself. So that's exactly what you will get. So, you know, encourage a brother today, okay? Encourage somebody that you know. Encourage somebody that you know. You know, you know, you know they're going through a hard time. Just encourage them. Just encourage them. It is well. Okay. Thank you so much for uh, what you do for prayer month. Listen to me. Those of you who haven't registered, okay, go and register. It's free for a call to prayer 2017. Trust me, you do not want to miss out. It is not a conference where you're going to sit down and be entertained. You're coming to work. I'm going to make them clear the chairs. You're going to stand and you're going to pray. Okay, you hear me? You're going to stand and you're going to pray. You've sat down for too long. Some of you have sat down for about 20 years in church. You've never served in ministry. You've never prayed for anybody. You've never preached the gospel. Never shared your faith with nobody. That's going to change. A call to prayer 2017. 
God is at work. Okay? God is at work. God richly bless you. God keep you. In the name of Yeshua the Christ, the Son of the living God. I'll see you tonight, 7 p.m. EST. Okay? 7 p.m. EST. We're going to come and we're going to pray for the brothers. We pray. You know, yesterday was the women's time. Today is for the men. Okay? We have a different subject that we pray for every day. You know, we you know we, we know what God has called us to do, okay? God richly bless you, God keep you in the mighty name of Jesus. Women, you're still blessed. Okay, you're still blessed. Okay. So grateful to God for all that He's done. God keep you. God recover everything that you have lost. In Jesus' name. God bless you. I'm not gonna keep you too long today. Go have a blessed day, okay? I see you tonight. Make sure you come on tonight. Okay, make sure you come on tonight. Make sure you come on tonight. Okay, lady and everything is fantastic. I'm going to give you a call later on, okay? God is so good. You know, thank you for those. Whenever I make, uh, you know, I ask for help, you know, you offer the help. You know, one of our sisters was in a bit of a difficulty with her accommodation. And, uh, you know, with money to come together to help her to get a new place to stay. You know, it's all because of what you do, your giving and your support. Okay, we've been able to come together to help her to get somewhere to stay. You know, so as, as we pray, okay, when it comes to giving and supporting, let the Lord lead you. Okay, we don't do manipulation. We don't lie to nobody. I'm not going to give you a prophecy and tell you the Lord, t the Lord said before I give you the pro a prophecy, so I see the $500. That's not, that's not God. Do you hear me? I don't do that. Okay, I'm all, I'm, you know, I'm all about my father's business. Do you see what I'm saying? If I never saw him do it in the Bible, then I'm not going to do it. Okay, so, you know, what I do is we pray, okay, and, and as the Lord will lead you, as the Lord will, you know, impress it upon your heart, you know, say, support this young man, you know, you just, you know, make the inquiry, say, hey, I want to support you, how do I do it? That's all, you know, that's what the kingdom is about, you know, sometimes I get demoralized when I see some of the stuff that's going on, you know, sometimes I get very demoralized when I see the tricks, the trickery, you know, the trickery, you know, that goes on. But you know, you, you can stop that when you refuse to fall for them kind of tricks, okay? So God keep you, God favor you. We'll, we'll talk tonight, okay? In Jesus' name, please start thinking of helping us raise a good budget for a call to prayer 2017, okay? Help me so that we can cover all the costings, okay? God bless you. I love you. I'll see you tonight. In Jesus' name. Don't forget. Our farming project is going great. I told you, we, we, you know, we got a tractor. I was told that we got a compressor and a welder. I think, a, a we, you know, like, you know, so that because, you know, we're going to build for people to, you know, stay on the farm and, you know, there's so much. Okay, I'm going to share it tonight. God has been good to prayer mantle. Tell you, God has been good. You know, I'm all about Christ. So, you know, I said, God, you gave me this vision. Help me. Bring the right people. I pray that I say, God, let us meet some influential people who can assist us in some of the stuff that we need to do. Because, you know, sometimes you need people of influence who can take you through those doors. You know what I'm saying? So I say, God, connect us to the right people. Connect us to, to some influential people so that everything that you, you're telling us will come to pass. You see what I'm saying? So, you know, um, God is good. Okay? We're working on the budget. Myself and Sister Mary, we're, we're working on the budget right now. God bless you. I'll see you tonight, okay? My God is good. My God is good. Do you know that? Don't you feel, I feel, you know, listen, I'm trying to get fit. I've been going around jogging, you know, jog for about an hour. And God is peaked to me when I'm out there. Some of you need to try it. In Jesus' name. It's all about healthy living. God bless you. Bye-bye. It's all about healthy living. Bye-bye. Trying to get fit, you know. I need it. Because July, you know, I'm going to be very active, you know. I'm being, I'm being serious. You need to try it. Pure, listen, I, you know, because a call to prayer is going to be fantastic. So I need to come ready. Okay? God bless you. I'll see you tonight. Bye-bye. Oh, wow. God bless you. Receive that prayer in Jesus' name. Sister Renee, God bless you. Tell everyone I said hi. God bless you. Bye-bye. Every day. Every day I run. Every day. God bless you. Bye-bye.